Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace and grace be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawada, which are the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. Which is the kingdom of Israel Double honest of the apostles of great millstone Who I learned this truth from And peace, love, salutations Also unto the men That's pushing the gospel Of Yahweh Shai in all sincerity And in all truth So, uh, you know, this uh, lesson is just something I was just uh, meditating on You know, actually a couple days ago Me and a brother was talking And I had, uh, <laughs> you know, I had came up in conversation You know, and uh, it just struck my spirit You know, that I could, uh you know, expound on it as a uh, lesson, you know, but, uh, you know, just sitting around how the, the, the ones who don't believe, all right, the ones who, uh, you know, gainsay what we, uh, the, the scriptures, you know, gainsay, scoff at what we, at, at, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, we're coming into the times where you're going to realize that you were dead wrong, you know, and that phrase, you know, speaking actual uh, literally, man, you know, because see, being wrong about being wrong about uh, uh, the Lord, okay, being wrong about you know what the Lord requires of you, all right, being wrong about uh, you know righteousness, all right, being wrong about the scriptures, it comes with a price, all right, it comes with a it comes with a recompense, you know, it's not just oh oh my bad, I was wrong, you know, even though even though the man was out there telling me, you know, diligently warning me. You know, I didn't believe him. You know, I, I was wrong. And, and you're just going to get a, a slap on the wrist, you know? Or are you just going to have to just apologize and that's it? <laughs> no, man. Okay, the the uh, the danger of being wrong is death. Okay? Straight straight up and down, man. The, the reward of being wrong is death, man. And a lot of people... They're going to be faced with that with that uh, consequence. OK, a lot of people are going to be faced with that consequence through the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because he sent out his men. All right. He sent out his men through through his Holy Spirit, sent sent down his Holy Spirit through his son, Yahweh Shai, and put it into men, the prophets, the servants, the servants, the prophets, put it in them to warn the people. All right. To show them. The way of a uh, a uh, uh, life, man. Show them, show them the correct way to live. Speaking about Israelites, of course, okay. Speaking about the Israelites, but you know, you uh, a lot of people reject our words, which means honest. Uh, obviously, they reject the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, rejection is a actual. That's a death sentence, man. Okay, a rejection of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is a death sentence, and we're and you're about to realize you're about to you're about to pay up, man. You're about to get you about to get sentenced. All right, and there's no see right now you're on death row. Okay, right now you're on death row, but your execution your execution is coming, man. Right, your execution is coming. So let me uh you know get a couple of scriptures, man, because hey, this is uh how we always say, man. This is deadly serious, man. We're not playing games. We're not up here to to debate and 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 uh, uh, you know go back and forth for contention's sake or for you know you know theological uh, conversations. You know, no, man. We up here. We go out, sacrifice. All right, make our bodies a living sacrifice. All right, we we push these videos out because we understand the magnitude of what's about to come. All right, we understand what the Lord is about to do, man, and we want to get the blood off our hands. We want to be on on the mercy seat of Yahweh Shai when that time comes. All right, you got a lot of people out here playing games, man. Even a, a lot of people that claim to be uh, Israelites. All right, a lot of people that cl claim to you know believe in the Bible, they out here playing games, man. And the Lord is not about the playing of the games, man. The Lord is about having His word go out, man. Okay, and. And getting his reverence, okay? Getting his reverence, getting his respect. And a lot of people don't respect Yahweh, man. So what's going to happen? You won't realize, you won't realize in your calamity, man, in your destruction. 
So let me get this uh, something real quick. You know, just, uh, you know, freestyling through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, these scriptures. So in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36, it says, But he that sinneth, actually, let me start up a little bit. Uh, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 33, it says, Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. All right, the instructions come through these scriptures, man. All right, it doesn't come through your own vain opinion, your own vain, you know, thoughts about about the heavenly Father. All right, and His Son. All right, the Lord gave us the understanding. He gave us what is required in order to in order to gain salvation, man. Okay. He gave us what is required, man. It's the belief on His Son Yahweh Shai, as the Scripture have said. Nothing more, nothing less, man. So the instruction to be wise is in these scriptures. And the Lord gave the understanding to his servants, the prophets, to go out and make and make it clear, man. Make it plain amongst the tables. Now, if you want to reject that, you're going to realize, okay, that you were dead wrong in rejecting that. You're going to realize that you were dead wrong in, reject, in rejecting, refusing the, the, and the wise instructions, man. It says, verse 34, blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my door, of my doors. Okay, that man is blessed, man. Why? Because that man has faith, believes on Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, on the precepts, the, the, the word, okay, and ultimately is a part of the hopeful elect and is going to receive that salvation, man. Is going to receive that salvation because... They are. Uh, they heard the Lord, man. As the scripture says, Yahweh I said that anyone that heareth the Lord is of the Most High. You see that anybody that hears the, uh, anybody that is of the Most High heareth His word, man. I believe that's in John the eighth, the eighth chapter. Watching at His, watching daily at His gates. Verse thirty-five. For whosoever findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of Yahweh, man. So anybody that finds the heavenly father by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, by Hashem Rakhak with Dash through the Holy Spirit that sups with you, you are finding life, man. All right, the Lord, the scripture said that the heavenly father is, is, is the father of the living. All right, where we, we are looking to be in the land of the living, man. All right, immortality, all right, eternal life. Anybody that finds Yahweh findeth life, man. So you rejecting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you rejecting this word, you rejecting the men that he sent, you are in essence asking for death, man. You in essence are are are, are walking towards the destruction. And you're gonna realize it, man. Because that that road is not a, a road that you can once you once you reach <laughs> once you reach that destination, you there's no coming back, man. There's no saying, oh, I messed up. I got, I, let me go back. You know, it's like the parable, you know, of the rich man. Okay. The parable of the rich man. Once he was dead, that was it. There was no going back, man. He can't, he couldn't go back. He tried, he said, oh, oh, send me, let me send him to warn my brothers. But he can't, man. And that's what a lot of uh, people are headed into, man. You want a one-way ticket to your death. Because you reject life. You reject Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, reading the 35 again, for whosoever findeth me findeth life, and whosoever obtain and, sh and shall obtain favor of the Lord. And that's what we're looking for, man the favor, okay, the mercy, the grace. Because the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, is, is nigh at hand, man. The indignation, the righteous anger of the Lord is upon is is nigh at hand upon this world just like how his indignation was upon the old world during the time of noah okay that was with the waters this is going to be with the fire man the fiery indignation it says but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul all they that hate me love death okay and the, and the scripture says if you love me yahweh shai said if you love me you'll keep my commandments the love of the Most High is the keeping of His commandments. So if you are sinning, 
All right. It says, I'm going to read it again. It says, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. So if you reject the Lord, reject his, 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 his statutes, his commandments. Okay. The, 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 the order, if you are being disobedient, you are wronging your own soul, man. And you love death. And so that's what you're going to receive. You're going to receive the death, man. You're going to die to death. Okay, plain and simple. Let me see if I can uh, get this. This is uh, first Tim, uh, first Thessalonians. I want to say it is. I might be Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Uh, bear with me one second. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse uh, one verse. I'm gonna start at nine. Go to the point. It says. Actually, it's like it start at seven. It says, "And to you who are troubled, rest with us, when Yahweh Shah the Lord shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, and a flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach." So the Lord is going to take vengeance, man. Okay, he's going to take vengeance, and you're going to be dead wrong. You ain't going to be able to say nothing in that time. You're not going to be able to cop a plea. You're not going to be able to, you know, say, oh, I didn't know. Or, oh, apologies, master. <laughs> no, man, the Lord, Lord not taking apologies, man, in that time, man. He's not taking, he's not taking, uh, you know, a confessions during that time, man. That time of judgment, the day of the Lord is straight judgment day, man. It's straight, it's straight either redemption or execution. Speaking specifically to you Israelites, because you know, you heathens don't got don't got uh, uh, redemption, man. All right, anybody else of a heathen left in America is going to be just destroyed. That's just that's what you were just born for that purpose, right? But we're talking about you Israelites, man. All right, that's why the scripture says that we are in the uh, uh, we are of them that believe in, in the saving of the souls, because we don't want to be dead wrong, man. Which is why we take this thing serious. We take this deadly serious. We study, okay? We uh, 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 follow the commandments of the Lord. Lord told us, if you love me, feed my sheep. He wasn't playing around. That wasn't a, uh, that wasn't a request. That was a commandment, all right? He wasn't asking you. He, was, he wasn't asking Peter, man. He was telling Peter. You understand? You want to serve the Lord. You listen, man. You 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 listen to what he he has commanded you to do, because anything else is outside of his is outside of his program, and he's going to destroy anything that that is uh, disobedient, man. All right, verse nine it says, "Who shall be punished with the everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power, when His saints, when so like when He shall come to be glorified in His saints." When he should be come to be glorified in the saints and to be admired in all them that believe because of because our testimony among you was believed in that day. So the ones who who believed in the Lord, they're going to be they're going to be a uh, uh, right man. OK, they're going to be all right. They're going to be alive. But the ones who don't, the disobedient, they're going to reap. They're going to reap what they sow, man. Right. So let me get a few more. This is a. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 6. It says, And having, and having in a readiness, Salakia, so and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So the Lord is ready to revenge all disobedience, man. Once the obedience of the elect, okay? The ones who, who believe, the one who trusted, the one who's had faith. Once all that, once that number is sealed, the Lord is coming back to get everybody, to get to get you, the you rebellious Israelites, you rebels. He's coming back to purge you, man. And, and, and in that day, you're going to be dead wrong. It's like that, uh, that, uh, that Biggie Small songs, man. Dead wrong. You know? Get this in uh, 
Second Ezra chapter nine. Second Ezra chapter nine, verse seven. It says, and everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Escape. What are you escaping? Okay. When you escape something, that means that you were in danger, that there was a, a something dangerous was in, in your way or coming for you. And what is that, man? That's the judgment of the Lord, man. The judgment of the Lord is a fearful thing. The scripture tells you that, man. That is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. But what? By your works and by your faith, we are going to be able to, we want to be able to escape that, man. Let me uh, jump real quick to 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Knowing the terror of the Lord, man, because the Lord is 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 great in a terrible power. Because that day is going to be terrible, man. The scripture tells you that that day is a day of darkness and not light. Okay? A day of thick clouds and no light in it. It's going to be a terrible day, man. And a lot of a lot of weeping and gnashing of the teeth. It tells you that all these people that, that that's going to be weeping and gnashing of the teeth are the dead wrong ones, man. The wicked. The ones who the ones who uh, this was disobedient, man. So we know the terror of the Lord, man. That's why we that's why we 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 go hard in this thing, man. That's why we are out here fishing. Because we know what the Lord is going to do to the ones who are not obedient. The ones who thought they were right. Hey, the scriptures tell you that. Oh man, let me get that real quick. God bear with me one second. All right? And because you got a lot of people that oh. They're going to try to say, I thought I thought this was it. I thought this was the way. I thought this was how it was supposed to be. Proverbs chapter uh, 14, verse 12. There is a way that which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And that's why the scripture says that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, man. So you can't, you got to be, you better be sure and you're not sure. But if you come up against this truth, thinking that you were right, hey, man, you have been given over to a strong delusion, man. And that's a fearful thing. That's why we always got to pray that the Lord take not his Holy Spirit from us, man. Because being wrong about this, being wrong about salvation is what? Death. There's no other, there's no other uh, avenue of being wrong about this, man. It's either salvation or it's death. And we have the unction through the Holy Spirit to know what we are saying is true, man. We have a have a firm foundation, man, uh, of a of a more sure of a more sure, sure doctrine. Okay, we know what we are saying is true, man. As Yahweh Shai said, we, we know what we worship, man. For the salvation is of the Jews, but you got a lot of people out here that's fucking around, playing games, wanna wanna debate. Okay. They, they, they not sure in their doctrine. They're not sure about what they're talking about. But here it is. They're trying to say, okay, well, what you guys are not saying is, is, is definitely not the truth. But they can't give you the answers, man. They can't tell you what is true. All they can do is tell you that what you're saying can't be the, can't be the truth. But here it is. They don't have, the, they don't have the, the words to eternal life. They don't have the understanding to, to the dark sayings and the precepts. All they're telling you is what, all they're saying to us is what, what we're saying is not the truth. See, that's a, that's a dangerous game that you're playing, man. It's a deadly game that you're playing. And ultimately, this is going to be your judgment. Uh, second Edges 6, Second Edges 9 and 7, 9 and 8, it says, I'm going to start at 7 again. It says, and everyone that, shall, everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed and shall be preserved from the said perils. Perils is coming, man. Okay. Calamities, woes. Lamentations, death is coming to this place, man. It's coming to people. It says, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them from the beginning, for, uh, for me from the beginning. That's the elect, man. They were predestined, okay? From the foundation of the earth, man. And we are the hopeful elect because we are listening and, and, and walking in the path that Yahweh Shai told us to do, man, that straight gate. Not leaning to the left, not leaning upon our own understanding, but leaning upon every word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Every word, man. The good, the the, it, the the good, nasty, and the ugly, man. Right? It says, verse 9, 
Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. See, this is the judgment of being wrong. This is the, the, the end of, of, of your disbelief. Okay, because the scripture says the end of our faith is salvation. All right, but the end of your disbelief, the end of your disrespect, the end of your of your uh 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 the end of your uh uh you know un un being un unfearful, okay, is this man dwelling in torments? Is is being is is death, man? Is dying a horrible death, second death, man, by fire, verse eleven. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty. And when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, hey, the end of you not understanding, man, the end of you wanting to uh, believe on, on what your heart or what your vain uh, conceits tell you, but despised it, this is it. Verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. You dead wrong, man. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to the elect, okay? For, for the elect, this this is, you stay in this, man, okay? Understand that this is the this is the truth. Because any doubt, any unwavering, all right? Being weary, being slothful, being weak-minded, being faithless, that is the way of death, man, okay? Being wrong is the way it is going to lead you to your death. But we know that this is the right way, man, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has granted us the faith, man. He has granted us favor and given us this truth, man. Okay? So with that, Shalom.